Hi. Let's think of speaking. Speaking, that everybody thinks about, but uh, in your case, what I'm going to do today is, you are going to expand your answers. Suppose, you know, uh, sometimes you have problem with speaking. My general complaint is that, idea nahi yare. Koi ki question puja puro idea nahi yare. So, it's not a matter of idea. Suppose if you want to answer anything in your own language, what do you have? Ideas? So, idea is not the case. Case is, you are, you are unable to expand your answer. Means, uh, if you chota sa, if you question go, thoda sa lamba karke answer then. For example, do you like sports? Yes, I like sports. You must have a reason why you like. So, hamar kya hoge? Expansion. So, that is what we are going to see today. So, come, let's get started. So, expanding answers means you have many ways, means uh, out of many, there are some ways that have just come here. Okay, uh, this is number one is use operating expressions. Means, uh, for example, um, you must be very much uh, genuine to in answering. Not that uh, uh, Sadhne Bola opening expression use karo kuchu bhi. For example, what's your name? Well, as you know, my name is, as everybody knows. It's not the case. Like, you know, you must be uh, like aware about the questions which, uh, questions which are asked generally. For example, see, we are talking about personally. About ask me a question and you can just start personally. Well, in my experience, in, uh, see, here there are many ways. I would like to start with, let me answer clearly. Like you know, once you have an opening expressions, this will really just help you to expand your answer and to provide reasons. Means of jo answer de rahe usko ek support karne ke liye koi reason hona chahiye. Main kyon hi bata raha hu? Why? Why this happens or why not this? So once you have a once you have a, like that idea about the, providing a reason about your answer, this will help you to expand your answer and give examples you are well aware of give additional details for example you are talking about a person then tell who is it you want to say something about it you want to say something about it and about a thing what kind of thing is it then when did it happen where did it happen how did it happen how did it happen you will explain what will happen you will really just make a long answer Express your feelings and opinion about the question. So, about every question, you must have a reason, you must have your feeling to add, you must have your opinion to give. And use adverbs of frequency. There are many kinds of uh, adverb, uh, and uh, here we are just going to, um, like, we are discussing adverb of frequency. And for example, always, um, do you do you book, uh, do you read books? Huh. I always, always I read book, or usually I read book, often I do it, sometimes I never read book, so it can be anything. Right, now comes, link the present to the past, means suppose a, a question is being asked in present tense. Present tense may a current situation may be question of the process of this. What do you want to do with the past? And one question is present in the present tense. What do you want to do with the future? And one example is given here. Like, you know, so, present in the past, how is it linked? Present in the future, how is it linked? To exam, you have to interview, you have to ask questions. Do you live in a detached house or an apartment? You live in a different house or an apartment. So we have to look currently. Currently means present. Currently I live in an apartment. So actual grammar बात करेंगे तो currently means अभी जो हो रहा है. So actually it must come like this. I'm living in it. Means the present continuous action चल रहा है. Currently I'm living in an apartment, but soon I will be. देखो ये currently present situation किसके साथ हमने ठीक किया? Future case other means, but soon I'll be moving to a detached house in the suburbs with my. Kiske saath jana jaoge? Unke saath, okay? And here the same question: Do you live in a detached house or an apartment? Do you live in a detached house or an apartment? We got the question. Ab ab kya karne ja rahe ya? Present de kiske saath? Past ke saath karne ja rahe. At present, at present is equal to 
currently. At present, I live. Same thing, currently, now, at present, this sabu kya? Present continuous ka? Time words there. Progressive tense ka? Time words there. So kya hua? At present, I'm living in an apartment, but when I was a child, I lived in a farmhouse in the countryside together with my parents, my grandparents, my great grandparents. So here what happened? A small question is answered with an enough expansion. So here, because you know, Alice is always, especially as speaking, is demanding a good speech. Means example is able to judge you with your words, with your ideas you're speaking. So for this, everyone, even in section one of speaking, part one of speaking, examiner expects you to speak around the 30 to 40 uh, seconds. Right, Perhaps, suppose if you just go with an average, this will really just give an idea. So, part two, Q cards se pahle, examiner ko pata lagega, ha, student is fantastic. So, aap bhi ho jaye, fantastic. Thank you for watching and see you with another video. Bye-bye.